also known as Hollywood Wolverine. And you're watching the Venom Vlog. Jerry, thank you so much for being here today. You have a new book coming out, Savage Avengers, and you're giving out a free of comic book day one that has the first 10 pages, is it? First uh, 10 pages of Savage Avengers are here. All right. And uh, the book's on the shelves now. I want to just ask a couple quick questions. What challenges or fun moments does writing in your own sandbox like Savage Avengers provide versus something like War of the Realms where you're working with other writers? I, uh, I, I enjoy both. I enjoy when I get a chance to... Uh, work by myself, but collaboration is always key. Uh, it's always a bit easier uh, to have your own corner of the sandbox, and right now being the king of Savage Mountain is, uh, is a lot of fun. I also know you're a big fan of Robert E. Howard's work. What kind of impact is that having on Savage Avengers and maybe even other stuff you're writing? Uh, you know what? Uh, when Marvel got the Conan license back, I was so lucky to be asked to collaborate on Savage with Von Garney and Richard Eisenhoff. And I think that's the best looking book, maybe that's uh, on shelves now. Like I'm, I'm biased, but uh, I, I was just totally blown away uh, by what they accomplished. And Robert E. Howard, you know, uh, I, I fell in love with Conan through the old Savage Swords, and uh, I, I was reading the Roy Thomas adaptations of those comics, and then I went back and read the Robert E. Howard novels, and. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a, another dream come true that uh, you know shouldn't have happened to me, but is happening. Um, you know, and uh, the the last line of Savage that uh, arrives this week is actually uh, you know very much inspired by one of Howard's lines in a current novel. I just said, you know what? We're dedicating it to Robert E. Howard. Uh, I'm going to borrow that line and put it over this one particular panel that. I thought really made it perfect. Wolverine and Conan have fought in uh, comics before, but not in continuity. So what was your favorite part of writing the new fight, and why start there with your new book? You know, I don't take for granted uh, an audience uh, arriving at, at something, and so uh, I thought rather than uh, beat around the bush, uh, we would just get right to it and uh, get it out of the way, but that was how these two are going to know each other, and if there was ever going to be a friendship beyond that, they were going to have to get this out of the way. I think it's one of the more enjoyable collaborations I've gotten a chance to do. Uh, you know, I did a, lot, a little bit of fight choreography for... Mike Diodato and Frank Martin Jr. did an amazing job, uh, uh, not just on the current uh, work, but also on the Infinity uh, Wallet, um, uh, Infinity Wars uh, that I did over the summer. Um, so um, yeah, it's been uh, it's been a uh, really wonderful to uh, have that time with Conan and Logan. Obviously, I host the Venom show. Yeah. Venom is not really an issue one of Savage Avengers, but there he's is some hints. A, yeah, he's getting a late star entrance. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Good things are worth yeah. the wait. Um, but without spoiling anything, do you know around maybe when we might see Venom? Well, you'll see in the first issue, the, and even in the free comic book day, the reason why it will be personal to Venom to uh, show up in Savage Man. Uh Certainly, he is a big part of the first arc, so uh, you know, don't miss issue three. And the last question actually comes from one of my biggest fans on the show, the Swordsman 100. He asks, uh, Venom has always had an inter interesting team-up with Wolverine and Punisher in the past. Wolverine has been more positive with his team-ups. Frank has been more negative. So what's your favorite thing about writing them considering their history? You know, uh, they barely will have time to talk about old grievances as they build a new uh, fantastic grievance that will cast a big shadow over the Marvel Universe. Uh, we have, are bringing back... Uh, a beloved old villain in uh, Savage Avengers and making a couple of new ones and we're starting a ticking clock uh, on the Marvel Universe. We light a fuse at the end of uh, the first arc that uh, could really threaten to, to blow up uh, in, in a, uh, I think a, a, a Lovecraftian horrible way. Uh, 
uh, you know, I am trying to not just embody uh, Savage in terms of the, the, the brutality and the violence, but also there's open heart surgery in the second issue uh, performed under not great circumstances. So uh, I'm really trying to stress test all these characters in a fun way. And Voodoo and Electra are two of my favorite parts. We didn't even get a chance to talk about that. But uh, I hope you guys dig it. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, keep reading. Dude, I really appreciate your time, man. Yeah, thank you so much.